I've always had a terrible fear of being submerged completely in water. Not that I can't swim or anything. My dad made me learn. He said I almost drowned when I was really young. I was afraid of it because, for as long as I can remember, whenever I'm underwater and look up at the surface, I see a woman reaching down to me with a warm smile, with glowing golden hair and dark blue eyes. Even if it's just a bathtub, it'll always happen. It was just normal for me, but I never got used to it. It was unnerving, but also soothing at the same time. She always made me feel like it was okay. I still avoid it though, because I was a kid and it was really freaky. I never told my dad about it as a kid, but I did always ask about my mom. He never wanted to talk about her. Sometimes he even got mad at me for trying too hard to bring it up. It was only recently that I described this apparition to him. He nearly drove into a telephone pole. Obviously, he knew something. I asked him, again, about my mom. He still would say much, except that she died when I was very young, and that she loved me very much. He also admitted that her hair and eyes were those colors, just like mine. So I did some research of my own, looking up her name for myself on my birth certificate and trying to find any references I could, any news clips about a boy nearly drowning, anything. I mostly wanted a picture, something I could match to my guardian angel. Today, buried in our town library, I found it. Winchester, Mary Withy, 28. Drowned to death yesterday evening after climbing a razor wire fence and fleeing to a nearby reservoir. A funeral is scheduled by her family for the 25th. Mervray was institutionalized just six months ago after being found not guilty of attempted murder on the grounds of insanity. Her husband, Daniel Withy, had acted quickly enough to rescue the infant child when she was found trying to drown him in a bathtub.